MLB season is drawing to a close, which means October baseball is just around the corner. I'm going to the desk by Evan Piercy and Jude Drentry, who are going to spend some time breaking down the best time of the year. So guys, playoff baseball, wonderful time. First question for you, Evan, is give me your most surprising playoff team. The most surprising team for me is kind of a little bit of shocker, is the Boston Red Sox, and here's why. So if I told you uh, that the Red Sox would be 103 and 47 and have 11 and a half game lead over the Yankees, would you believe me in the beginning of the year? I would not have believed you, but exactly. I still that doesn't exactly. Think They're surprising the way they've just dominated every single game this year since they started 18 and two. I know. I'll give you that they are surprisingly dominant, but if you win your division the year before, you're not a surprising playoff team. A team that lost their division came in last in the AL West last year, 26 games behind the defending world champions now in the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. And flipping from a 75 win team, not that big of a difference. 75 wins, still a pretty decent season. You're right under 500. You're in the middle of the, the uh, class or whatever, but to go to 90 wins and be competing with the Astros on and off again, making late pushes and hot playoff starts and hot runs with like 17 wins in like 20 games out of a team that won 75 and so young and not expected to be there, last to second. Both the teams look, are impressive. Boston won the AL East easily. Oakland, no, just about all but, but clinched that wild card was, spot. So let's move on. Give me your matchup you're most looking forward to. Jim. I'm looking forward to the Braves versus the Cubs. The Braves oh, versus the Cubs. I'm calling okay. it the Braves revival versus the Cubs redemption. Because the All last right. time the Cubs won the World Series before the 2016 World Series, they went back to back. And everybody was like, oh, we're going to do that again. And then they lose to the Dodgers. And you can't really, they want to get back there. So if they get back to the NLCS to face this young Braves team who's not supposed to even be in the playoffs, they weren't supposed to be in the running. They were the, supposed, the Nationals were supposed to run the, away with the division. The Nationals were supposed they, to run the away. The Braves were in contention to get a wild card spot. Yeah, but they still weren't supposed to be where they are today. I remember last year whenever we brought this up, everybody laughed at me that they said that the Braves and the A's would be in the playoffs this year. And look where both of them are. They're both in contention. They both are could possibly be contenders in the playoffs. If you're in there, nobody. it's October baseball. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, but like, I mean, going back to the A's, like the A's are in a really weak division in the AL West. Last year, the Houston Astros ran away, but this year it's been closer. Going with the Braves, like the Nationals have never had like, the, you know, absurd dominance over the East, and this year they haven't had it because the Braves have been there. Okay, but what I'm talking about, the Braves, Cubs. Braves is, are certainly surprising. Yeah. Braves, Cubs, obviously, Definitely interesting matchup, Evan. Give me your matchup you're looking forward to. I have to go the Astros versus the Red Sox. When we saw last weekend Houston come in and take two out of three from, from the Red Sox in Fenway Park, which is very hard to do. I don't see a National League team winning the World Series. I don't even think it's going to be close. So, yeah, honestly, that series, that. if it's the American League Championship Series, that team's the World Series. Seems like Red Sox are the, definitely have a big target on their back coming into yep. the playoffs. All right. Last question, give me your World Series champion right now. World Series champion, I said it last year, I'm saying it again, Houston Astros, better pitching, beats repeat. better hitting. Repeat, they have Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole, the addition, Dallas Keuchel can still be dominant, Charlie Morton, and then Lance McCullers Jr. out of the bullpen. They have the uh, second fewest strikeouts I, as a team, which is where the Red Sox starting pitching gets you. I and then they have the lowest them, team ERA. I can give you the Astros getting there, but I also don't think that if they can, I think they can get there, but I don't think they have the run in them this year. I think that if the A's can get out of the wild card, if they can get out of the wild card and beat the Yankees, they're going to catch fire and they can be one of the hottest teams in all A of baseball. I, don't, I can see the A's beating the Yankees, honestly. I can see that happening. I don't see the A's beating, taking four games from the Boston Red Sox or the Houston Astros. Okay, Red but they Sox certainly look like their favorite, but undoubtedly a lot of exciting playoff baseball coming up. A lot to look forward to, but that's all we have from the Diamond. I'm going to step away. When we come back, Andrew will be playing real deal or no deal with NFL teams.